When Indian classical dance was performed in temples traditionally, um, it was always part of the rituals and practices in the temple. So the people that performed it were usually uh, people in families that had devoted uh, their lives for generations to the service of the temple, either as priests or in, in other roles. So they were not people that chose to be dancers or that came to dance because they wanted to express themselves creatively, uh, but they were just doing it because it was their duty um, as part of uh, people servicing the temple. Um, it was part of their duties to perform this in a ritual context. Um, so when people came to watch these performances, uh, they were usually people who had come to pray at the temple or um, offer their devotion at the temple and then they would come and watch these performances as part of that experience. And this really created very specific relationship between the performer and people coming to watch it. The role of the performer was to evoke with the utmost integrity and authenticity and truth the feeling spaces of these deities. Um, that is what is called the rasa, uh, the, the feeling domains of these deities. And they could only do it if they were completely immersed in the moment, uh, that they were not aware of themselves as separate from these uh, rasas or from these deities, and then they would be able to evoke that space. And as for the people that were watching it, uh, they also came for that experience of the rasa. So they didn't come to be entertained, but neither did they come to be bored, because that wasn't really the framework in which they were operating. And they didn't come to be find pleasure or suffering, but they wanted to experience uh, this rasa space of the deities. And so together, um, the performer and the audience came into this union or oneness in this experience of rasa. For me, it is really important to reclaim these spaces of uh, rasa experience and interaction in my dance today because I believe it's vitally important to find other languages of transformation in our times. Uh, we often think that uh, it's all about the talking, it's all about the theory, um, it's all about the conceptual kind of body of work, but uh, really fundamentally we have not really shifted from the ways in which we think um, about things, particularly that we uh, put ourselves at the center of existence and everything at the service of, or our, of ourselves and our welfare. But as all of these practices are about feeling uh, the sense of unity, that is that everything around us is part of us and we are part of everything around us. And that is an actual visceral embodied experience. It's not a theory and no amount of talking about it will bring about that shift. And that is why for me, these spaces of experience and this particular role and duty of the performer um, is of vital importance in our times.